Listening is a great capability. Do you think Washington is listening to Beijing carefully? You now need to divide Washington into sectors. The executive branch is certainly opening, open to listening. It's important that we have increased government to government, diplomatic discussions between government. But it's even more important today that we restart the people to people relations. You know, the National Committee on U.S. China Relations has since 1966 focused on people to people exchange. And then in 1972, we obviously hosted the ping pong team. Uh, visit the Chinese ping pong team's visit to the United States. What we need, need now is a hundred new ping pong teams. We need hundreds of ping pong teams to come from the United States to China and to go from China to the United States. Because the people to people relationship forms the foundation for the overall relationship. Historically, the Congress, the President, listen to the people. So if the people begin to speak out, that will be productive. Mm. Uh, many say your job was actually the best in the world a few years ago. And now people say, how could you still be able to do your job? You know, there was a foreign affairs article uh, a few months ago. It asked Americans, uh, uh, 70 American China experts, mm -hmm. yes. um, do you think American policy towards China is overly hostile? And they give you a one to five uh, score. F you know, five, it was overly hostile. I, uh, hostile. I said, easy, five, of course it's overly host hostile. Then they said, uh, one to 10, what's your level of confidence that is overly hostile? Easy, 10. And then the results came out and there were only four people who agreed with me. So. Some of your colleagues asked me, isn't it difficult that you're such a small minority? And I said, no, it's not. I said, look at the four people who agreed with me. Uh, Sta Ambassador Stapleton Roy, former Assistant National Security Advisor Jeff Bader, Lee Chung from Brookings. If I'm gonna fight a war, I wanna be in the trenches with those people because they're really smart and able. Second, it's not the first time I've been a political minority. My opposition to the war in Vietnam when I was young, you know, when we first went and demonstrated against yeah. the American government, it was, you know, we were thousands and then we were tens of thousands and then we were hundreds of thousands and then we were millions and then we changed the U.S. government's policy. And maybe that's what's going to happen here. We're first going to be a small group and I'm seeing more people, more articles, more opposition to this overly hostile environment. And last, but not least is I'm sure I'm right.